Good morning, here we go for a little Saturday morning chat. Um, I just really thought this one sat here. Mm. We're right in the middle of the box up there. Yeah, and it's, it's confusing because it's backwards. It's backwards and also it looks like we're five minutes late. We're not. We're not because that's our time to get out of the house clock. Not yeah. that we've been going very far on our time to get out of the house clock. It's more get ready to start the morning workout at yeah. 8 o'clock or 9.30 or whatever it is. Pronto. Yeah, that clock's always fast. Yeah. Because Mark's always late, so basically I worked it's out that if I keep one of the, you are always late, so it works out that if I keep one of the clocks fast, yeah. just keeps him on his toes a little bit, I'm more likely to be on time. Just about. Just about. I was yeah. always a super on time, like I was early or on time, so I was brought up being late is rude, so you're not late. Um, and then I met Mark, who was always late, and it took me quite a while before I decided that. It just wasn't worth the hassle. So I'm going to be married to him forever. He wasn't going to change, so I just needed to embrace the lateness. So now I've become a late person. <laughs> I just think it was... Uh, I know it was. Very, very busy life growing up. So in a sense, it was kind of like... It was always a likelihood of being late because if we, the time rolls, rolls around doing horses and things, like, oh, I'd go for this horse in the field. Always on time for work, though. Me? Mm. Which I found interesting, because clearly he could be on time, you know? Yeah, but you have to kind of reverse engineer things. Like, like so uh, do all this, I've got to do these this stuff with the horses, and then that whole, so generally, day-to-day, -day, something could go wrong. Especially with the first little pony we had. We were, obviously, we had, we had all the time, just living through our life, 30-odd years old, I mean, 35 years old. Um, he would just do something unpredictably naughty, just yeah, at yeah. the wrong time, and then that's 20 minutes gone. Yeah, but by the time but you, you met me, you weren't things. even doing horses but, anymore. So no, that's no but excuse. it was just that kind of that kind of mentality had been built in from a very young age. Do you think? Um, I just thought you can be on time for work, but you can't be on time for anything else. So you need you to just should prioritize. Maybe you should have shouted at me more or something. I don't know because like be on time when someone's going to say something. No, I don't think it would have made any difference. I tried everything. It didn't work. So in the end, I was like, ah. You used to go out in the rain one time. And I did. I did. I even said to him, <laughs> I said, look, we need to be on time. Like, it's not okay. So if you say you're going to be somewhere, then be there and I'll be waiting outside. And if you're going to be late, just message me and let me know. Like, it's okay as long as you let me know. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to wait outside regardless. I'm going to wait outside. Thought that would make a difference. Like, he'd think, oh, my poor girlfriend's waiting outside in the rain. No, he did not think that. He thought, nah. Was never Still married. didn't let me know. <laughs> and to this day, we'll have been married 14 years next month. And to this day, he still doesn't, very rarely will text to say, I'm, I'm going to be late, babe. <laughs> That's the 25th of June. <laughs> did on purpose, did on purpose. It's definitely the 29th. The thing is, though... It might be the 27th. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, <it's 29. laughs> the thing is, the reason is, Mark thinks it's because, you know, all this stuff about oh, growing up with horses, rah, rah, rah. It's not. It's because <laughs> when he's making plans, he forgets to take into consideration all the in-between bits. So he'll say, oh yeah, it'll take me half an hour. That's because the journey is half an hour. But he forgets about the bit like getting ready beforehand, getting in the car, finding parking, all of those kinds of things. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> if we could cut down the journey time, I could probably be on time. As in terms of like teleportation, it'd be great. Teleportation, <laughs> Star Trek style, <laughs> jumping through time. Oh, here I am. No, because you'd still forget about the, you know. I take that for granted. Yeah. And then not still not be ready. Yeah. And doing the other stuff. Hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I mean, I'd like to say it's got better. But I mean, I'd like, like to say a lot of things, but it doesn't mean it's true. Doing, sometimes end up doing kind of. Things stack of things in a rush. I think you go through like phases. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you'll be really thinking, you know, I'll, even like not even being late, that's cool, but just let me know, right? That's common courtesy. So sometimes. Coming off really badly this morning. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he'll remember and he'll message me and he'll go through a good little phase and then life gets busy. <laughs> it's just definitely not his default. In other ways, he is such a great husband. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he does stuff like work his backside off during a, you know, no. global pandemic in order to build 
build a business that will support our family. So I figure good. we can deal with the lateness. Just about. Just about deal with the lateness. It's not a pandemonium, darling, it's a pandemic. Just have had this thing recently with the kids <laughs> are reading. Well, they're always reading, but they're reading kind of older slash more age-appropriate books because we went through a cycle of the we've kind of tidied them in. They're reading the same books over and over again. And now they've learned some new words, so we've had some new words. So the pandemonium there rather than pandemic. It's finding the right context for these good words to find. What was Levi's one? Oh, last I can't week? remember, but he was using it all the time and totally out of context. It was amazing. Yeah. It was, it was, I want to say hysterical or something like that, no, but it wasn't. wasn't. It was a really good word. It was a brilliant, it's a brilliant word to I use. I don't think he if used you put it in the right place. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were Which word was that? I can't remember, darling. But it's funny. Does, yeah, it's brilliant. Really? Morning, Alan. <sighs> oh, so, you're Alan. beautiful too. Yes, you are. And <laughs> you. It's great that you're on this because I can talk about it because Carrie's watching as well. Um, or oh. <laughs> doing that um morrison's got talent amazing and karen who is a client and a friend um is also works at morrison's and i just would, wondered why she hadn't made it to the the final <laughs> edit as well in terms of uh maybe maybe they thought it wasn't fair on the rest of you if they got her team involved or i don't know the court uh, in their <laughs> office or whatever it was but <laughs> there we go it was so, really cool it's though. really cool alan it's really great that is really really cool I feel um, like I've got a famous friend. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, wrong time of year. I mean, it's not the wrong time of year. I mean, just keep on a slow burn, build up for a, a Christmas single. I say. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Amazing, Morrison's yeah. Christmas single. Do it. Yeah. I buy it. Yeah. Or way buy it over the X Factor, Bobbins. Bobbins. Totally. There we go. I'd way buy it. <laughs> not in the sentence. <laughs> no, Morrison's would do it obviously for charity as well. Yeah. It? You know. Of course. Amazing. Yeah, that'd be really cool. But I love Morrison's. I love the way that they do things like that. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, no, that is cool. It is very good. Very, uh, very. Uh, well, they're very community minded, aren't they? Yeah. Within, I mean, and, and I know I think other that's stores what I mean, are, I like. but I think they. There are other stores. Being based in Bradford, that they seem to put a lot into this area and I think the so. north and you know. Yeah. yeah. They stay focused on where they, they started. Go Mori Bobs. Yes. Good stuff. All right. So that's this morning. I'm going to need another coffee today. I didn't drink much coffee yesterday on purpose because I've not been sleeping great this week. And I had a quieter afternoon. I managed to stop working at lunchtime. And um, watched some TV and sat on the sofa. And that was it, really. I was taking my kids out to Ilkley River. so That looked lovely. We managed to find a completely no other people secluded spot. So we were very socially distanced. That's what we're going to talk All about those today. other people That's that were jumping good. off a bridge very close to each other. Not so distant. Not so distant. Um, That's what we're going to talk about oh. today on a daily focus. I was going to mention it now. Yeah, go for it. Daily so focus. Sometimes you have to go a little bit further to get where you want to get to or where you need to get to. Yeah. That's it. So, so everybody else just walked over the bridge. Yeah. And then they were just there, by each other, not socially distanced. No. We walked over the bridge, and then we turned left. Which, been down that walking. way before, done it as well. Quiet we kept spot. walking, and it was brilliant. Yeah. And in fact, it was such a good-sized space, that there was heaps of room for me and the kids to be there, have space, play, go in the water, whatever. Yeah. Every time somebody else came and had a little look, they looked and they thought, Oh, it's not quite enough space for us to be in there as well. And they did one. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where the kind of my kind of analogy no. goes to. But, you know, that's a good practical reason to go that little bit further. Yes. Uh-huh. That's the right idea. It was. I'm saying it's the right idea. Definitely the right idea. Cheers. Yeah. Find you find go a little bit further to get to where you want to get to and find that spot that's gonna work for you. Love it. Good stuff. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, drink some get ready for boot camp and uh, yeah, drink some more coffee. So boot camp is actually on this page. Yeah, it's amazing. On oh, Saturday, nice. we do everything in one place um, at 9.30. So have a great weekend. Get your gym Bye gear some. on. Get your gym gear on. <laughs> no pressure, Alan. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you on uh, Monday morning, 7am for some coffee. Alan, you've got to maintain that physique now that you're Mori Bob's famous, okay? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I want to see you kind of graduate into different areas, like maybe like a boy band next with the guys yes. from the meat counter or, uh, you know, 
There are so many bake, places this could go. Bakery boys. <laughs> Love it. Bakery boys. Uh, <laughs> bakery boys. Bakery boys. You could call it the bakery boys. That's yeah. amazing. You could be. You'd okay. be that the talent, though, Alan. You'd be like the, the Gary Barlow. Yeah. Yeah, the actual talent, and then yeah, the bakery yeah, boys the just front do, a, man. do a little dance in the background, wave some bread, bread sticks around. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> be cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. See ya. <laughs>